So we always hear about these holidays, you know, nursing week, physician's week, you know, pharmacy week. What really happens in the hospital during that time? Well, lots of free food. So for the past two months since I've been working full time, I've been working the COVID shift. Um, but now that I'm done with that shift and the numbers are starting to go down um, at our clinic, I'm finally able to switch around to the other shifts. So I'm starting medicine in ICU soon. So you know, I'm very excited, a little nervous, but you know, this is um, you know, the job that I've been waiting for and what I signed up for. And it's actually what I was hired for. So now I can finally do, you know, clinical pharmacist work. All right, so I was so nervous about, you know, starting being coming a medicine pharmacist and I just want to be prepared as much as I could. So, you know, being, you know, really anal organized person that I am, um, this is what I created. So it's essentially a modern sheet. Um, I listed, you know, this is what I usually do anyways when I have a patient. So let's say they're going to be discharged. I list out, okay, did I med rec with the doctor? Did I finish verifying the outpatient meds? Create the discharge note. Um, what we have to do is that we have to print it in a specific printer so that our technician, our discharge technician sees it. And then I have to Spock. So Spock means I have to page the tech. Um, once they're alerted, they'll bring up the medications and bring it up to me. And that's where I'll go counsel. And then I have to add my note to mention that I did counsel them. Um, and if there's any patients on specific anticoagulation, I have to put in um, anticoagulation clinic follow-up. So, you know, there's a lot of steps for each patient that gets discharged. So same thing with all the other um, protocols that we have. So we have heparin, um, therapeutic lovinox or DOAX, warfarin patients, vancos, we have TPNs. Power offs or medications that's not formulary, so the doctor has to request it. And um, there's a lot of extra steps regarding that too. So yeah, I created this master sheet. I'll just write down the patient's name and I check if um, everything that I did just because I don't want to make sure, I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. So that's really important. So I made that and it was very extra of me. <laughs> um, this is an example of my patient monitoring list. I removed all the patient names and information because HIPAA. Um, so this I kind of created already when I was a resident, so I just reused it. So every patient that gets admitted, I have to do an initial note. So I just checked off if I did, if I didn't, then I need to do it for that day. So essentially initial notes are just, you know, initial evaluation of the patient when they come in. You know, did the doctor restart everything? Were there home meds that were held and need to be restarted? Do they have, you know, DVT prophylaxis? Is there anything that needs to be followed up with a doctor? I'll mention it in my note. And then um, if they have specific pharmacy protocols, so if they have Nivencos, Doax, um, therapeutic Lovinox or heparins, etc., TPNs, I'll note it here so that I remind myself to follow up on that. So, you know, small little things. And down here, just little notes for myself on how to, you know, do a discharge, just in case I forget. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty anal. Here is just like, you know, the duration of like, um, when I verify meds, you know, certain meds have three day expiration, some have seven days, some can only be used for 24 hours. I have all the extensions, the phone calls to certain areas. So this is my patient monitoring list.
kind of tense. Oh, oh, his turn, his turn. Oh! Bruh. Whoa! Bruh. <laughs> it's a gang fight now. <laughs> to bring the boys over to yeah. fight each other. It's a stare down. <laughs> notebooks over the years. This one was when I was a pharmacy student, pharmacy resident, and pharmacist. So as a student I had all my different rotations on here, um, little clinical tidbits and things I need to learn, um, workflow wise, um, random notes about certain patients of mine that I need to get back to, you know, things like that. I'm kind of a float pharmacist. I'll be cycling through all these different units, um, covering different areas for pharmacists that are on sick leave, vacation, or if they're off that day, they need coverage for their areas. So um, that's why for me, it's really important to have this mo notebook just because, you know, one week I'll be doing ICU, another week I might be doing medicine, and then I have to go to inpatient psych or... Um, SCI, so all these different areas, there's a lot of nuances, a lot of things that are different. So it's really important that I have really, really good notes. Importantly, I also have these album covers. So normally you can buy this at the dollar store anywhere. You know, usually it's to put in like little, you know, photos of your family. But for me, I actually print out little clinical tidbits that I can use to help me during work. So here we have like see here summary of different trials no um, algorithm for diabetes management so a lot of different things so I have like three four five sections on you know, psych meds um, a couple for you no know, cardio these are from my lectures as a pharmacy student I thought they're really helpful so you know I just printed it out made sure it fit and put them all in because they're quick, easy to read, easy to reference. And you know, it's made by you know my pharmacy professors back in then. So it's definitely accurate. And I had double checked just to make sure the, uh, the protocols or nothing were changed. So it's very helpful. So that one's more for clinical. This one is for um, procedural based or so my protocols at work. So, you know, for things like heparins, we have different procedures. So I cop I printed it all out. I put in all of our protocols, all the drip changes. What you do? What else do I have on here? Um, you know, bankle calculations, pretty standard. I mean, we all know it by heart, but you know, just in case one day if I have a brain fart, who knows? Um, I just have like some like antibiotic stuff in here. Yeah, I'd say these are super helpful and I always have them with books. So fun fact, this was actually created by our ICU pharmacist at my hospital. So I know for a fact, if I'm covering her service, if I'm covering her ICU patients, I better have this book with me because it's pretty much her in a book form.